Hello new game fans, major updates to great games in this video, but let's begin with The Wall Mustn't Fall, a side-on defense title in which you're defending your castle with a variety of troops and weapons along with your chosen hero, being a rather old school kind of game that was popular on flash game websites but reborn for a new age, with an extensive research tree and looks neat. Here's something a little different in Trolley Dilemma, a game based on the trolley problem in ethics and psychology in which you're attempting to save everyone by manipulating the tracks that the trolley is on. You're attempting to delay it for as long as possible, getting it into an infinite loop without causing derailment or the trolley from crashing into another thing and it's a short, free puzzle game of 20 levels and it's about 30 minutes of gameplay. This video is brought to you by Back to the Dawn, a prison survival and escape RPG in which you play as a journalist who was framed and wrongfully incarcerated, caught up in the dark conspiracy that he needs to unravel. You are working together with your lawyer on the outside to gain your freedom, but in the meantime, have to survive the intense reality of prison, forming bonds and alliances with certain prisoners while exploiting rivalries between others in order to stay alive. You can explore the various facets of prison life, having the option to be a model prisoner or to leave mayhem in your wake with interesting characters, rival gangs, prison jobs, skills to train and more, and can also attempt to break out of prison, all with a fantastic pixel art style. It releases today on the 3rd of November, so get it via the link in the description below. Also, the developers are giving away exclusive Steam keys of the game on their Twitter page, so go join the excitement there, link in the description as well. This title was chugging along quite nicely in Early Access and released in version 1.0, in which Bang On Balls Chronicles is an open-world sandbox action-adventure title in which you are put in a variety of time periods and settings with adventures to be had. It is based on the concept of Country Balls, which apparently has no IP or copyright associated with it, so you're free to use it, in which the physics and 3D platforming in this is surprisingly great. The variety of characters that you can play as, from vikings to ninjas and pirates, is awesome, and while you would think that a ball would be difficult to control, it plays smoothly and is pretty great. Just a quick one here since Demon Turf Queen's Edition is the ultimate version of the 3D platformer from 2021, combining the base game, a standalone version of the game named Neon Splash, the paid DLC Demon Turf Tower, and the level editor into the ultimate package. Play as Beelzebub or Beebs on her quest to become the Demon Queen in great 3D platforming action, having an interesting art style that mixes 2D sprites in 3D environments and is still worth a play. With this Ultimate Edition concept being similar to what they did with their previous game at Slime Sun, which I love as well. <laughs> The developer of Apollyon River of Life reached out to share that the game released out of early access, and having taken a look, I think that it's neat and might be of interest. 
this is a choice-based narrative RPG in a dark fantasy world using cards, magical effects, occult magic, spirit summoning and more in its branching narrative and looks well put together and seems to be going under the radar. Here's another game that isn't usually my gem but turns out to be pretty interesting in Hits Will Roll Reforged, one that looks like a visual novel but in fact is a pretty hardcore survival RPG with turn-based combat. Set during the Hundred Years' War, play as a young soldier on his journey to become legend or get wrecked and killed in combat. This is a remaster of a game from 2021, although I cannot judge the value of it being sold as a separate product instead of being an update, but people do seem to be enjoying it, so check it out. I meant to cover this at launch, but it slipped my mind since upcoming DLCs on Steam don't really get surfaced all that well, with Iron Fury Aftershock being of note, being a significant addition to the boomer shooter from 2019. This adds a new campaign with 15 new levels, new monsters, new weapons, and a new Angel of Death difficulty mode, becoming even more like the throwback games that it pays tribute to. There's a new mode named Arrange, which expands and rearranges the 28 levels from the base game for a fresh new experience, with this being one of the best boomer shooters available right now. One of the Pardon the pun, shining examples of indie games in early access done right is Core Keeper, an action adventure crafting title in the vein of games like Terraria, which has almost 22,000 Steam reviews one year plus into its early access launch, where the developers are constantly adding biomes and new stuff, survival game style, with Shimmering Frontier being the latest. This adds a fancy new biome in the crystalline caverns, with new ore to mine, new enemies, radioactive crystals, ancient battle arenas and more. Luckily, you will have new armor, weapons and tools such as the Obliteration Ray along with a whole bunch of new crops, fish, recipes, decorative items and more making this even better and should go down in history as one of the all-time greats. I think that the game development story of Domekeeper as a product is interesting since they did not release in early access, but yet continued to support and expand the game with many free updates. The interesting part was that it did sell well when it released last year to the tune of about 2,000 Steam reviews if I'm remembering correctly, but that has exploded to almost 8,000 as of recording 13 months after launch, showing that this is a viable strategy if you have somewhat of a successful game, with the latest update being Double Dome. This adds the Tesla and Artillery Dome as well as a new Dome Supplements system that allows you to customize the dome where the core gameplay loop of going underground to mine and then frantically returning to the surface to defend your base is very compelling and excellent. Perhaps one of the hidden gem game of the year contender is the monster taming RPG Cassette Beasts which allow you to fuse monsters, releasing a new DLC titled Peer of the Unknown, which adds a new storyline, a spooky carnival themed area, 12 new monsters and 5 new characters, with this edition bringing the total number of possible combinations to 19,881 fusions with more Game of the Year picks in this video.